Welcome back to another video. Today's example is on repeat alpha. It's part of the EX01. Finally, things are starting to get a little bit more fun. Write a program called repeat alpha that takes a string and displays it repeating each alphabetical character as many times as its alphabetical index, followed by a new line. A becomes A, B becomes two Bs, E becomes five, so on and so forth. And why is this? Well, because in the alphabet, A is equal to one spot, B is two, C, and so on and so forth. So how are we gonna get something like this? How are we gonna count X? Well, we're going to use the ASCII table. So down here in the decimal set, if you look at A, its character represented by an int is 65. Z is 90. So let's say you needed to get Z, the amount of characters to print for Z. You would take 90 minus 65 plus one. Well, why the plus one? Because if you were using A, you would have 65 minus 65, which is zero. But you know, you have to print at least one character for A. So that will remain true for all of the iterations, capitals and lowercase. So I think we're gonna need a helper function for that. Also, it looks like there's non-alphanumerics in here, so we're gonna to have to take in, into that into consideration because if we were to take a Z character minus the period, I don't know, uh, there, 46, you'd get some crazy number or it would just go into infinite loop if you weren't keeping track of things. So I started things off here, let's get rid of this, with the letter count, and that's where we're going to get the index. So we have to take into consideration lowercase and uppercase. So let's say if C is greater than or equal to, let's do lowercase first, and C is less than or equal to lowercase z, then we're going to return C minus A plus one. Else if, and then let's just copy this, Make it easier, C is greater than capital A or C is less than capital Z. Then it's just going to be that. And since it can be something else, we're just gonna always gonna return one. So ideally we're going to hit one of these return function, return values before we get to this. But of course, if there's a period, exclamation point, so on and so forth, we only want to print one. Okay, so if the number of arguments is not one, just display a new line. Okay, let's take care of that. So if AC is equal to, let's just say if it's equal to two, we're gonna right away do something. Okay, now we need a while loop to go through the actual string, make sure there's a value at each each index position. And now we need to get the count, count equals get letter count, and that's AV1 at spot I. And then we are going to do another while, because this is going to take care of our printing the characters, while count minus minus, the right one and I one and now when it's all doing that we need to iterate the position and now let's give it a crack ABC. That looks good. That's very representative of what it's asking for. A once, B twice. Now let's try it with one of these. I don't have it named repeat alpha, so we'll just copy that part. Okay, that looks pretty close. Just for sanity's sake, I'm going to paste it next to that. It is exactly right. And here as well, I'll do this one. It's always best to do all the all of the examples. Just to make sure everything is 
taken care of. And then this is not passing anything. So let's just take this one out. Okay, just the dollar sign, yes. And if it's an empty string, okay. Just a dollar sign. Looks good. I think you nailed it. So, if you enjoyed this content, consider subscribing to the channel. Smash that like button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.